So I noticed that I haven't done anything for a while on, on my channel. So I just, you know, thought about putting out content for you guys very quick before you guys forget about me. <laughs> but anyways, um, so this one is, as you all know, um, it's quite simple though. It's a, it's to, um, a to-do application. So um, I'm very sure you know what a to-do app is because in one way or the, um, or the other, you've um, come across something similar. So this is something you can actually build very easy. Um, 30, 45 um, uh, minutes, you can do something like this and obviously add in your resume that you've done a good project. So you also get to learn the basics of Django, you know, building something like this as well too. All right, so um, again, it's a to-do app. And if you know me, you know I love authentication and authorization. That is why I began with um, a login screen. Okay, so um, we're going to just quickly create um, a user and then I'll just walk you through the experience and how it works. So very quickly, I'll uh, just click on sign up and then let's just create another user, so called user two. I tested with user one, everything worked well. So let's do email.com and then put in the password here and password. So account created, please log in. So we're just gonna log in as user two and enter. So we can see everything looks um, very plain. You know, we have a Django app, blah, 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 and Navbar. Like I said, I'm not a front-end guy, so I don't do much of design. I just want to show you guys how to do stuff with Django and, you know, how to tweak some things in the back end to make your web app make sense. All right, so to create a to-do um, item, you just have to click on create um, to-do, this button here. So click on it, and then it uh, directs you to a form. And then let's just say um, wash clothes by um 6 p.m right so we can just add blah blah let me just copy this and paste it so many times uh, okay yeah so just click on submit and then this has submitted right and then we'll also do the same thing, create to do, and let's say, um, watch a movie on Netflix, on Netflix, and the same thing here to, okay, so we'll just click on submit, and then let's just do one more, uh, take a stroll. in the evening all right so same thing and all right so just click on submit right so you can see we have um our items based on when they were created all right so this is 845 this is 846 846 but some um seconds went um went by before this one was created you know after this so that is how it's going to work, obviously. And we can see the title of um, our to-do. And obviously, here will be the description. I just want to put something, blah, blah, blah. All right. So we can also mark this as complete. So when we're done with an activity or, um, you know, an, an event or a to-do activity, rather, we'll just come here and then do mark as complete. I'll be showing you that very soon. And here again, obviously shows when this was created. You know, it was created June 29th, um, 2023 by this time, All right? So it just catches that for you automatically when we um, um, impute a new to-do item, okay? Or to-do event or whatever. So to mark something as complete, it's very easy. Just click on mark as complete. And then this will just tell you to do mark as complete. And obviously, this is now completed. So if we are done with our uh, movie on Netflix, okay, so okay, we're done with our movie on Netflix, we just mark as complete. And you can see mark as completed and it's already completed. This one to mark as complete, bam, and it's completed. So that is just like an overview of what everything is. And that's how it works. Um, very simple, yet very effective, very, very effective, trust me, because there are times when you want to have it to do around your corner, you know, and again, why this one is, you know, kind of like nice is because it's obviously on the web, 
So you can access it from any device. Uh, you can share your credential, although not recommended. I don't recommend that, not just for this app, but uh, as a good security practice, don't share your credentials. But I'm just giving an instance. With probably your friend or something, you know, if you want to, um, if you want the person to see your to-do list or something like that, yeah. And then this one is kind of persistent. So which means that if we log out, right, and then we log in again as user two. Uh, inputting password. Sorry. Um, so we can see see that you know they'll still be here for us, right? They'll still be here for us, and we can see what we've done so far. So you can build on this, you know, add your own functionality, make it more complex, and expand from there. All right. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section, and know what to do. Leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is a sign that you should subscribe. All right, thank you and um, see you guys in another awesome tutorial. Bye for now. All right. Um, so I believe you guys already know the first thing we're going to do, and that is to create a virtual environment. So to do that, open up this directory in a terminal. And um, here we have it. So we're just going to do virtual env, and then let's just call this to do underscore env, right? This will just take some couple of seconds to create, as you can see, it's already creating for us here. So we'll just wait for this to create or to finish creating. And we would simply cd, which is chain directory, and then to do env. So next thing, we we'll just have to activate this by saying scripts and then activate. So CLS to clear things up and have space to run other commands. So we obviously want to um, start with Django, our first dependency, because we're going to be working with that. So just going to do pip install Django, and this should install the latest version of Django for us into the virtual environment, and we can start building our project. All right, so um, do, 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 do. I think we'd also install um, widget tweaks as well too for our forms. Or should I have just done that when I typed in pip install Django, but that's fine. We're still going to walk our way through. All right. Um, my internet might be slow today, but let's see. Okay. So we also want to do a pip install um, Django widgets tweaks. So this, sh this should quickly install it for us. And yeah. All right. So we can just obviously check the version of Django we're making use of. And this would give us what 4.2.2. .2. All right, cool. So next thing we just want to start a project. So Django I mean we just do start project. All right, and um, we're going to do um, Django underscore project. All right, so let's change directory into Django underscore project and create our apps. Uh, so we'll just say startup users and then another one again will be called to do and let's make directory called templates storing our HTML files and if we're comfortable with everything we'll just open it up in VS Code all right so we can start working with everything here yes I trust others blah, blah. all right so Django project, let's go to settings and then um, just import, sorry, I didn't get it correctly. Import OS. All right, so installed apps, so we just do um, to do and um, users. So we have widgets tweaks as also. So scroll down directory, so we have OS to path. The join. So, uh, join this directory templates. All right. So just cancel this out. Um, to do, do. All right. So let's go over to to do. Let's start from here. No, sorry. Let's start from users. I like building from authentication up. That's how I know. just a thing that just stuck with me, anyways. 
So let's just quickly create um, form.plight. So from Django.country.auth.forms. So we're just going to import user creation form. All right. So from Django.country.auth.models, we want to import user. So class, let's call this register user form and user creation form class meta the class meta um just gonna do model and uh user so fields let me just be explicit so we're just gonna do username all right uh, we're gonna do email uh we're gonna do password one and then we're going to do password soon right all right so that we're done uh we'll just simply come over to um simply come over to views.py right and then we'll just import something before we start creating a view so one import redirect so let's import um so sorry import messages uh let's import authenticate and import the login and logout function or module so um from form we want to import register user form so we can start creating our views right so register user this will take in requests so if requests the method posts so form is going to be register user form request the posts right so if form dot is underscore valid our form dot save messages dot success taking requests and this is going to be accounts created Please log in. Um, so return redirect and then we'll just redirect to login. Else, say messages dot warning requests. So we'll just say something went wrong. All right, so we return, redirect, and no, nope, not to log in. Back to register. Else, we we'll just say form is register user form. And then have our contact so we can pass this in our templates. So return, render, requests users register dot email and obviously we're gonna have context all right this is very short and straight to the point let me see if i'm missing out anything i don't think i'm missing out anything so let's go over to um login user so we'll create this and then we'll say if requests that method equals posts. So we'll just say username requests dot posts dot get get username from the submission request dot posts dot get we also want to get password. Okay, so we want to say user is authenticate then the requests you have username and then we have password password right okay um if user that none and is active uh so want to say login 
request and then return redirect let's just see all to do's right else messages that's one in sticking request so we just say something went wrong return redirect um to login right um, else form uh, is it called to do, 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 do. imagine no sorry <laughs> return render requests users login dot html okay makes sense so we also want to do logout underscore user so we're taking requests and this will just be logout requests and this is going to be messages dot um success active session is ended or not ended please log in to continue return redirect and then we're just taking back to login all right so this is what we're going to do and let's just do our urls that's py so from django no no country the urls let's import parts so from this directory let's import views and then we'll just do urls patterns so path and then we're gonna have a register um, views dot register user name let's give that register so pass and then we have login views dot login user and just say login so we have path um logouts views dot logout user name is logout okay so i think we're done with users all right um do -do -do, do -do -do. So let's just quickly do to do all right go to models <coughs> And then we'll say <coughs> from Django dot country dot us this models we want to import user so class um let's just say to do models dot model all right um so first of all one is the user so models dot foreign key not aggregates foreign key user also do on delete uh, models dot pass key right now the title of the to do um uh, char field so let's just say max length 255 uh description models dot um, text field um let's make this null true blank true um so this created models dot date time field so just have auto now 
add and true. So next one is just gonna say is completed. Models dot um sorry what am I doing? <laughs> Models of Boolean show rather. So default is going to be false. So just to string. I don't need to even do this, but let me just do it. So return self dot title. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Um so let's create from the py and then we'll come over here. So we'll say from Django import forms from models import to do um class we we'll just say create to do form model form so class meta model is obviously to do and then the fields obviously we have title and then we have description right okay title description blah 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 all right so we need to come over to use the py and walk away from here so we import some things here we import redirect from django.country want to import um I want to import messages from nah, from this the models I want to import to do from this the form I want to import create to the form so first what I'm going to do is create to do taking request so if requests the method posts we want to do form is create to do form request of posts so if form that is valid all right um so you can just say from the safe or rather let's do something so we are from the save commit false and uh, we are user should be requests that user okay so we are the save and uh, messages messages that success uh, I say to do item added to return redirect all to do's right else messages the warning or rather I'm just see something went wrong return redirect uh let's redirect them back to create to do form is going to be create to do form all right so context and return render request um to do, 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 to do and just say create to do dot html obviously we want to pass in context as well too all right so define and let's say um let's call this um uh, do, 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 all to do's all right so we're taking requests and let's just say obj uh to do that objects that filter where user is going to be requests 
dot user and is completed is going to be false, right? Oh, yeah, completed. Yeah, so completed. No, the notes. Let's just do it like this. Don't worry. Let's let's not put this one in yet. User. So context is obj. Obj. So return render requests. Um, to do all to do is dot html context. All right. So next one we want to have is mark as completed taking request and pk. So to do that objects. Let's get so we have pk is got to pk. Uh, pk object. So we just say um, obj um, that is is completed. False true. Return redirect. Multitudes. Messages. So we just we can just do URLs for this. Employee views. Um Um, let's see, let's see. What do we need here now? We need, um, yeah, so on this to be home. Then use all to do. Name all to do. Let's come out here. Create to do. to do path mark as completed all right makes sense um so we can just start creating our templates so users dot no sorry 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 users uh to do so users will just create um, a base .html file and we also want to do login .html and we also want to do logout .html all right so we need to have a HTML file that we are working with. So we'll just click on HTML. Mm, so I'm just bringing login here. So I'll just copy everything, paste in here. All right, so at this point I'm feeling sleepy. So I think I'll have to pause this video. And when we return, 
I will just continue. But don't worry, you're not going to notice because it's just going to be pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Catch you guys later. Bye for now. All right, so I'm back from my sleep. And obviously, you're not going to notice, but if you look at the time difference <laughs> below, you'll see the time that passed. Anyways, um, let's continue what we're doing. And again, I changed my screen to a larger one. So probably it might be like some kind of like changes in the size of the code. But anyway, that's fine. I believe you can see everything still. All right, so um, I think we're trying to do the user um, templates, right? Sorry, the authentication templates. So I remember I put this one in here. So, okay. Um, what we can do here is just do, come here. And we'll just do, a nope, not capital. What are you doing? So we'll just do um, block content. And then end block content. All right, so come over here and then we'll just X this out of here. Um, okay, so let's just cancel this one. And come over here and we'll do extends base.html or rather extends um, users base.html. Okay. So we'll do block content and end and block content basically. So we'll just paste this in here for my document. So we want to copy everything. I didn't I didn't create register. I need to create that. So I'll just paste it in register as well. So, so let me just quickly build this one out. Okay, so I need to do method posts and also don't forget csfr underscore token this is for security on your site especially with your forms and this one is going to be input and it's going to have name uh username so we're going to move this email address here and just say username then placeholder nothing should be here so remove this uh remove this placeholder password here and we're going to give this a name uh, we're going to call this password right and we also want password to be required oh sorry required and we also want i'm just copy this we also want um username to be required okay before any validation takes place in the back end so we want to cancel this one out or remove rather um everything looks good so don't have an account we want to send this to what register right yes so sign up register all right so everything looks good come over to register i want to use widget tweaks so just say load widget underscore tweaks um all right so we'll come over here and then we'll just do render field form dot username. All right, so we'll just stick in this one here and paste it in here. All right, so username, right? I don't know, let me see what I did here. If I also did email views, no, not views rather, form the py or oh, email, cool. So um, username, right? So I'll just remove this out and I'll just take this and paste in here as well. So, so we'll call this email, uh, her email address. And then I'll also paste this in here as well too and call this um, password one. So this will be entire password. And this will be password two, which is going to be confirm password, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we'll just remove this one. Mm, blah, 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 blah. So we'll call this sign up and then we'll call this sign in. So already have an account. So we want to sign in. So we'll just take them 
um would you log in right all right cool um so we have this set up and we can see how that works but let's just quickly just drag this in here as well so, so let's do py manage dot py um uh, make migrations but before we do this let's try something come over to urls okay i'll include so path i want to say um include to do the urls and we also have path accounts Spell that correctly. Nope, outside the string. So we'll say include users.urls. All right, cool. So now we've done this, uh, we can do the make migrations. So make migrations. Yeah, so I just migrate everything. All right, so. Let's run server and open this up. All right, so opened up as my browser here. So let me show you guys what's going on. So, so what he's saying, um, so basically why is why he's just saying this is because um, we're not logged in, apparently. <clears throat> so to resolve this, what we'll do is we are going to go over to, um, let me show you guys the best way to do it. So go over to here and then Let's import something. So we'll just do um, from uh, jungle.contrib. Dot oh, that's uh, decorators imports login required, right? So let's we'll come over to this one. So the scene, this is a, like a home page. So we we'll just do um, login required. Yes. So um when we refresh we shouldn't be getting this error again so you can see it has redirected us to our login page all right um but we don't, we don't have an account so we need to sign up create an account and then we're able to log in all right so um obviously we don't have any page yet for you know just all to do's and blah 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 we don't have any page yet so we need to create pages for that so very quickly, we're just going to come over here and we are going to create a base.html template or HTML file rather. So here is going to be create to do.html. And uh, we also want to do um, all to do's.html, right? Okay, so let's build from there. So let me just quickly drag in this. All right, so control H, highlight everything, I'm going to see the copy, then paste everything here. So right click for my document to make sure everything is sorted out correctly so we can just cancel this out. And then we can start working from here. So what I want to do now is I want to show button, like the logout button based on, um, so if you are logged in, I want to just, you know, tell you that you can log out basically. So to do that, um, we'll just say, um if request is nope authenticated so we'll just do this so we'll just a class uh btn btn warning right btn small let's call this logouts and this will be and if so we need to redirect this so we can just say url um logouts right cool um do, 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 do. so let's see so custom jumbotron blah 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 uh okay so we need to also do this one so let's just do Block content uh, and block content. So we're not going to be using the jumbotron anyways. We're not going to be using this. So let's just consider this out. All right. So all to do is um, 
extends base.html and so we have blog contents and then we have end blog content right mm -hmm. just copy this one here and then paste this one as well too so let's work from here so i'm going to open up my browser and uh let's do bootstrap right okay so i want to get uh so let's go to components and let's go to card so there's this card i'm looking out for here yeah? show you guys very very fine um doo -doo 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 -doo. so uh let's see uh pattern footer okay so let's just copy this one okay so come over here i mean i'm not a good front end guy so you guys shouldn't judge me all <laughs> so paste this in here all right for my document okay now so uh we're not going to do it this way uh okay i think we have to do it this way uh, let's 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 uh hold on hold on hold on hold on okay so hold on you guys let me try something so let's not use that one let's go back since we are going to be having multiple um let's do something nice mm, uh, i think i'll just go with this one then just copy this one let's copy that last one paste it in here and then format so look at where it's repeating it's repeating our colon so we'll just remove this uh we'll just remove this one here as well so cool so we are going to do something now for this base.html let's try something so let's just let's just copy this right just for copying sake anyways so let's also do like a div copy and paste this one in here um so let's call this django to do app okay so um do, 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 do. So we, we just have to like um so we'll say for o in obj and then we can just end that here go we'll end for all right all right so uh image we need, we need to remove this we're not making use of any image here so card uh, car title would be um o dot title all right and then this would be like the description so o dot um o dot description right um so once here to so want this to be um o dot dates created right okay cool um dun, 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 dun. so so i need us to have like um what is this called again a badge so um okay let's let's do this one all right oh and just copy this paste in here and just just paste in here as well too yeah we'll see how that works later so let's do create to do very quickly so i'll just take in my form paste it in here all right so just copy everything and i would paste this in here but you guys just give me one minute i have to take this call thank you all right so i'm just doing my head okay i'm sure you can hear me now loud and clear so let's quickly continue all right so this uh we're just gonna do uh add a should do item um so obviously you're gonna use widget tweaks um so we'll do load widget tweaks all right so here is going to be um title all right uh, let me just put this in here and that'll be render field Form dot title. Then we're just taking um, class form control here, and then put it in here, so we can just delete this one. All right. So same thing. Just copy this. All right. And paste in here. And description. 
uh, is going to be the uh, description, all right? So just um, delete this one. All right, cool. Mm, so I think everything makes sense to this point, and um, we can see how it is. So very quickly, um, let's go back to our browser again. All right, so let's create somebody. Uh, let's just say user one, user one, oh, user, sorry, user one, that's email.com. <gasps> oh, okay, before we do anything though, <coughs> let's do something. Um, let's go to alerts. We got this one actually. So just copy this, come back to VS Code. Mm, let's do that here. So we'll just say if messages, all right. So nope, no cast up. So for message in messages, this is in here. Mm, let's just do for more documents, make sure everything is aligned. All right. Uh, what does it end for? And if all right so come over here and then we'll just do um message right um so here is going to be oh you guys hold on one minute oh lord all right you guys so sorry how to take that call okay so here we're just going to do message dot tags right okay cool so let's just copy this as well too all right, and um, uh, come over here and base. Hold on, why did I create logout.html? That's weird. So sorry. Let me see what I even put here. Wow, nothing. Shouldn't have created logout.html. Let's delete this. <laughs> so come over here. And we are going to also paste that here as well too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue what we're doing. And uh, let me sign up. Okay, um, okay, so I think I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, let me do something. Uh, so let's come out to register posts. Um, Token, right? Okay, so come over here. Let's refresh. So username, user one. So user one at email dot com. So put in a password. All right. So account created. Please log in. All right. So we'll just do this one. Okay, so you can see we're on the dashboard. You can see to do up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so let's just change some things here. Um, so come over to, let's just come over to big.html. Let's come over here and we'll just do, uh, like I, I just feel, feel very frustrated whenever I'm doing HTML or CSS. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel very frustrated. I just love my Django and my Python, you know. But anyway, so we, we can see nothing here because we don't have any to do thingy, right? But um, no, 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 no. We can just make it, you know, more user friendly by letting them know that okay, we don't have what they want. So we can do something like this. Let's change this to an uh, anchor tag. All right, and then we'll just do um, URL. We'll call this creates uh creates to do right um so we'll just call this create to do items or oh, let's just see create to do right so when we come over here and refresh we should see create to do okay we didn't close one uncle tag that's why so we'll close this uncle tag and refresh so we can see create to do so create click on that it brings us here add it to do item 
so we can add the title and add description so as you can see this description is too long but if we, if i do this and i refresh it's going to come again like this so we need a way to permanently you know put this you know up or make it like kind of like shorter so to do that let's come over to create to do all right so come over here and then we're just going to do this so a pipe and then we're just going to do attribute so uh attribute so let's do call uh, i think that is a colon right so calls is going to be let's call it 20. all right so come over here and let's refresh okay it's still let's see problem description let's try 10. um let's see 10. hmm okay let's see what's going on description from the field mm. colon i don't know which one is colon or which one is rose let me see this one <laughs> rose you guys hmm hmm something is wrong something is weird mm. no it should be colon it's right Mm, okay. Twenty. Okay, let's see. Du -du 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 Twenty. This is weird. This should uh, hold on. Let me look at the documentation. Django widgets. Twix. Let's look at documentation, and let's see what we're doing wrong. One minute. Mm, blah 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 okay so we can see text okay where's the 20 i think we're getting this correct i don't know what's going on let me copy and paste there let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Form the description. Dun, 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 dun. So we're still showing this. Hmm. All right, you guys. So let me just quickly do this, and I'll tell you guys how I did it. Right. So let me just um pause the video and then quickly run through this. All right, guys. So I just got that very quickly. So I was I was doing something very weird. So basically uh this is how it's meant to be done and also how i did it too was also correct well, let me show you guys again um let me just show you guys quickly so this is meant to be rows actually do not columns so if i do five right they're still going to give me the same thing i got here right so you can see well i was doing 10 and then 10 wasn't just going well so if if, if i should do 10 and i come over here you can see it has come up yeah so that was what i was trying to do anyways you learn every day so let's do five here so this is also correct and then also doing rows five like i did earlier was also correct as well so, so let's just stick with this one um yeah so now you can see that it's you know a bit yeah together so let me just cancel this one cancel this one as well too all right so when i enter something say um do laundry We'll do learn oh my god <laughs> hold on let me just use Lauren Ibsen for this one Lauren Ibsen text generator mm, yeah can't be writing all these things down that'll be just stressful so let me just stick in to this one all right so I'll just um, quickly paste everything here so do laundry submits okay so it's telling me blah 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 oh lord why am i careless about this so basically if i come over to create to do as you can see my form doesn't have any c token so i have to put that in all right so i would simply go back again and refresh okay so i'll just do do laundry all right and then paste it in here so submit so you can see to do item added and then you can see do laundry right 
and this is when it was created blah 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 so i can free to do and then watch a movie Move over here paste submit and you can see watch a movie right so we want to do based on when it was created right so from newest to older so to do that open up vs code come over to to do views and all to do is we're going to just do order by and then reverse this created basically you created so we want to come over here and then we refresh all right so we can see blah 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 so watch a movie this one comes up so create to do uh let's see cook noodles and then paste in here to so submit you can see cook noodles right okay now that makes sense so we want to be able to you know determine if this has been completed or not basically so to do that um to do that let's just do something so let's just come over to all to do's and then um here no not here here we just say um if all dot is completed so we want to do let's change the success actually so we want to do completed right um else I also want to have like um, an anchor tag that will just say it will take us to URL mark as complete that will have o.pk so o.pk right and this one is going to be mark as complete okay so we'll just do our end if here very quickly and if Okay, so now we've done that. What's it going on my VS code? All right, cool. So now we've done that. Let's look at it. Let's refresh. Okay, so I don't think we have anything called mark has completed. So let's look at that correct again. Look at URLs.py. So let's see mark has completed. And I did mark as completed, which is obviously correct. So let's look at it again. Mark has completed. Okay. So, um, that's very weird. Let's look at views. Mark has completed. Uh, so int pk so come over here again and then refresh this should work fine and you can see markers complete markers complete so once i do markers complete now it's going to refresh and this is going to show me completed so click on markers complete as you can see completed markers complete you can see completed Marker complete, you can see completed. So we can also put like date was completed, blah blah blah. But you know, I just want to keep everything short and show to the points. You know where it is. So when I click on log out, it should log me out and tell me active section has ended. So if I want to go over to the site again, once I just you know enter the base URL, it takes me to login. So login as user one and something went wrong. Probably I didn't put my password correct. So let's use a one. Put password again. As you can see, completed, 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 completed. So we can create another one. Um, go skydiving. Paste in here. So you can see markers complete. Blah 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 blah. So we can just click here markers complete and then. Woo! So that's very, that, I mean, that's it, straight to the point, very clear. Um, so this is something you can just do, put in your portfolio, you know, something minimal, uh, just for you to understand the concept of Django and what it can do for you. Anyways, um, if you have any concerns, you, know, you can just, you know, let me know. And uh, we are going to relate again in the next video. All right. Uh, so thank you, thank you so much for your time. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.